Hi, it's Matt Langan. I'm happy to have you. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to create a nice little animated GIF just like this one you're seeing on bestrips.com, a website that I design and develop. So what I love about animated GIFs in this particular situation is that they are nice and tight little ways to present a number of messages in a small amount of space. I'm going to show you how to do this in less than five minutes using Adobe Photoshop CS6. What I've done is I've created a new file in Adobe Photoshop and I've created three different layers of text, each of which communicate a different message. So fast and easy to install. I'm going to hide that, show this one great in all conditions. I'm going to hide that, show this one free US shipping every day. So we have three different messages. If I'm showing them at the same time overlaid, it looks like an absolute mess of spaghetti. What I'm going to do is show one of these at a time. Now, to getting to where we can create an animated GIF, I want you to go up to Window and then click on Timeline. That's going to show this little toolbox down here. Once I'm there, I want to go ahead and duplicate this initial frame by clicking on this little page that looks like it's been peeled up a bit. So now I have two different frames. The second frame, I want to show the second message so that on the first frame, I'm showing one message. Second frame, I'm showing another message. I'm going to duplicate this frame again, and then I want to hide that second message and then show the third message. So I have message one, message two, message three. Bada boom, bada bang, bada bing. All right. What I want to do now is make that nice, clean little transition from frame to frame. To do that, I'm going to click on the second frame, and then I'm going to click on this, these four little circles. It says tweens animation frames, okay? So I want to tween with the previous frame, and I want to add five frames between. Now, what I want to do is in these transitions, if I click on that, changing the opacity, I want these transitions to actually be zero seconds, so no delay. To do that across all frames, I can just hold down shift and then click and then hit that drop down arrow and hit no delay, okay? Now, I want to tween between the third and then the second primary frames. So I'm going to click on third and then I'm going to tween from previous frame, add five, click OK. I'm going to do the exact same thing here. I'm going to hold down shift and then click, hit the drop down and then no delay. Now here's where it gets a little bit more interesting. I'm going to click on the final frame again. I'm going to click tween one more time and then tween with the first frame because what I want to do is actually wrap it around. Click OK and I'm going to do the exact same thing. Clicking that final one and then back, drop down, no delay. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to add two seconds for each of these main frames. And there we are, two seconds. And I apologize for this little hiccup here. And then I'm going to click on play from the first one. And let's watch it. There transitions to the second and to the third, and then back to the first. Now there's one final thing that I want to say, is that down here, I'm gonna try to pull this up a little bit, down here, you'll see this drop down says forever. That means I'm gonna loop this on infinitely from the first frame to the third, and then back to the first. That's exactly what we want, to have an infinite transition from slide to slide. I'm finished. What a wonderful little slideshow here. To export it, I just go to File, Save for Web, and then click on GIF, and I'm ready to save. Thanks so much for watching, and I look forward to more tutorials in the future. Bye-bye.